What's going on guys, it's Marcus Rommel here and I'm about to give you my very first headphone review. Bars! <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while so I thought why not make my first headphones review on whether in my opinion the AirPods Max are worth it in 2024. Let's find out. Marcus Rommel! Okay, first and foremost, we got to talk about the aesthetics of these beautiful pair of headphones. These kinds are absolutely gorgeous. They're definitely a head turner and they will garner a lot of attention wherever you go, whether you're traveling, you know, it's on the go here and there for me to be. These will definitely turn heads. And I mean, with the aluminium around the ear cups and the stainless steel framing around the headband with the telescopic adjustable areas here, which are just really have a nice resistance to them too. And they really fit comfortably with a nice grip on your head. So I mean, just off looks alone. I mean, these are just absolutely beautiful. Definitely probably in my top three most aesthetically pleasing headphones of the modern era kind of thing. I mean, I love them. I love the look of them. A lot of other people do as well. And the colors are coming in pretty cool too. But me, I had to go space gray because it just, it goes, it goes with anything and everything that you're wearing. So, and I just love just the color and the look of the grays with the black headband. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's just a chef's kissing headphone design in my opinion. Adding on to that as well, the ear cups are some of the most comfortable ear cups I've ever had the pleasure of wearing on my head as well, especially for a long extended periods of time. You know, traveling to and from on a train for hours. These are just brilliant in breathability, comfort levels, and pressure as well. You don't feel like anything's crushing your skull. Because these have quite the clamping force when they're on your head. As you can probably see when they're in neutral just in my hand now. They have quite the clamping force, a comfortable clamping force on your head. So the cushions help to complement that brilliantly without you feeling like your head's being crushed between two cans. And I love that. I really do. And it helps reduce kind of perspiration as well, which leather can kind of produce sometimes a faux leather. But these, no. Very breathable, very airy, very lovely. And also, as you've probably seen many times before, they just come right off, snap right back in as well with the magnets. So you can replace them. You can play with the colors, have different things, customize how you want to, or just replace them if they do get messy. But one thing I will say, what I've seen people do a lot online is wear these to the gym. These are not, I repeat, are not gym headphones they are not sweat resistant they are not water resistant so the worst thing you can do is wear them to, to the gym or doing any kind of a strenuous activity which is going to cause you to sweat because you don't want to damage 500 pound headphones <laughs> you know what i mean and plus on top of that you don't want your ear cups to get all clammy and dirty with sweat and all sorts and you know natural body oils and everything just from you doing things you're not supposed to i mean i know people do wear them to the gym but i definitely would not recommend it i mean it's the same principle as like you could wear a pair of timberlands to the gym if you wanted to it's not practical but you could you know it's the same thing it's the kind of the same thing of wearing airpods max to the gym you know they're not made for that these are everyday listening headphones not for strenuous strenuous activity even when i was going through um a routine just marking it through i was learning a routine recently to to post for some more content and even just after marking it through with these on my head i was getting warm and hot and starting to sweat a little bit so i was like wow i don't know how people would even them doing full workouts in these things i mean i can't imagine the state they must be in afterwards and like i said you don't want to damage them anyway so definitely keep these away from the gym these are everyday headphones for you to listen to casually please remember that transparency mode is second to none on these things as well i mean my gosh it's the best transparency mode i've ever experienced i mean previously i had the sony xm4s and i thought that was pretty decent but with these what i love about these is that you get the transparency of hearing literally everything around you through all the microphones surrounding these ear cups without any loss in quality of your music and i hadn't experienced that before and that was incredible i can hear everything around me whilst also being able to listen to my music comfortably when i'm walking the streets you know crossing the road especially when it comes to busy roads busy areas so you're just aware of your surroundings and what's going on around you just a complete chef's kiss the best i've ever experienced sometimes you can hear clearly than you can with your organic ears which is kind of crazy when you think about it i mean these things you don't have to take them off especially if you're going post office you know picking something up making a purchase put them in transparency mode have your conversation you're laughing love it the best transparency on the market from what i've experienced so far and on the other side of that coin noise cancelling 
Wow, I absolutely love it. The noise cancelling on these things is brilliant. And I'm a hat wearer, as you probably guess as well. I wear a lot of peak hats, beanies, things like that when I'm on the go. Especially because in the UK it gets really cold in the winter as well. So, you know, you got to keep wrapped up, keep warm. And you could still be able to cancel out a lot of noise, even with things on your head that may kind of break the seal a little bit. That noise cancelling, when that kicks in everything just drops out and with that adaptive eq as well in your music when you are in noise cancelling man that really helps you to just really cancel everything out and you can just zone out in your own world of audio i mean it's a great noise cancelling system you know like i said just as good in my opinion as a sony xm4s and xm5s on that upper echelon of just brilliance for the noise cancelling so if you like me you like to just cancel out your surroundings and just immerse yourself within your music your podcast your film whatever it is that you're doing with your headphones man you're gonna love it you're gonna absolutely love it everything all that noise on a bus train a busy street whatever the case may be just goes away and it's just you okay now so just like with any pair of headphones the biggest thing that really matters is the sound quality how did these sound especially at such a high price tag of 500 pounds or 500 dollars how did these sound how did these stack up and i'm happy to report that these are probably the most cleanest sounding everyday headphones i've ever had the pleasure of listening to with great bass great highs great mids great instrumentation separation great vocal clarity and the dynamics and the harmonies and everything as well in the arrangements you can really hear with these headphones which made me really happy and i know they say that these aren't lossless compatible via bluetooth but I have noticed a significant difference in quality between music that is lossless when I download it via my Apple Music as to those that aren't. There's a much higher level of clarity and quality with lossless music I've noticed. And this is over Bluetooth as well. So I'm not sure if that's something to do with the firmware software updates to help with the Bluetooth codex. But I've noticed a significant difference in sound quality with that. And also with Dolby Atmos, which can be a bit of a mixed bag depending on the track you're listening to. But when it's done right with music, man, you can really hear things you haven't heard before. Like I was listening to Michael Jackson's um, 40th anniversary Thriller album, which is Dolby Atmos. And man, I heard things in that record I have never heard before. So man, that blew me away. Absolutely, absolutely love how immersive the sound quality of these headphones are. And that's not just with music as well. That's with podcasts, films and TV programs, especially. My gosh, these shine. These really shine whenever you are watching films or TV programs which are made with spatial audio in mind. Personally, I like to have my audio fixed as opposed to head tracking. That way, no matter where I'm looking, I can hear everything equally around me whilst I'm being fully immersed in the experience that is Dolby Atmos forward slash spatial audio and just really enjoy the viewing audio visual experience that way i know some people may prefer the head tracking so when you turn your head you'll hear it more in one ear or the other and you still get all the bells and whistles with that but just for me personally i just prefer it fixed so no matter where i am what i'm doing where i'm looking i still get that same audio experience and man these really do pack a punch i absolutely love it again right up there and in some ways in my opinion better better clarity i'd say than the sony xm4 and xm5s which seem to have more of a punchy bass to them very clear very incredible sound quality in themselves but i just found these to have more clarity in the separation between the high mids and lows but at the same time that's no knock against the sony xm series they are just phenomenal headphones and always everybody's go-to as well as you know but this is just my personal opinion on that side of things in terms of sound i just love the clarity that you get with these personally i found these super useful as well in just listening to mixes after you've come out of the studio and things like that so you can kind of get an idea of what the audience might hear from records that you've just done on everyday pair of headphones you know outside of the studio i just found these very useful for that as well just with the clarity that you that they offer and the quality too you know over that bluetooth codex i just thought you can kind of gauge a pretty good idea of how the audience may receive it sonically so i just found it pretty useful for that as well it's a very niche thing what probably won't apply to most most but for me personally i just found it very useful in terms of being able to listen to mixes and hear how it may sound and thinking oh yeah this sounds pretty good you know that way you kind of gauge how your audience may receive it come time for release the battery life on these things are really good as well i mean i think they're quoted as like 20 hours off a single charge 
and that seems about accurate because of a heavy use week of about five to seven days or so of usage that's what i've gotten through before i've had to charge them again if i'm using them on a heavy rotation but if i'm not using them as much you probably get about two and a half weeks out of them before you have to charge them again so i think that's great especially with them always been on that's pretty much how they operate just like any other pair of airpods these are always on and i know that bugs some people that they don't don't have an up switch but AirPods Pro 2s don't have an off switch. None of the AirPods line really have an off switch. They go in a case which you still have to keep charged with, then charge your headphones, right? So these are a similar thing as to whereby you have this case here, the smart case, which everybody hates for whatever reason. But I don't mind it. I think it's pretty cool. You just literally put them like this. Open up your case like so, slot them in, close case, they're going to standby mode. And once you leave them as well for more than 72 hours, I believe, they're going to a deep sleep state, which saves even more battery too. But apart from that, just they'll just go into a standby mode for you. And whenever you're ready to use them again, just open up your case, really nice and easy. Take them out, they'll automatically reconnect to your device every single time. Rock them around your neck, you're nice or however you want to wear them and you're good to go. No faffing around, no repairing, none of that. It's just really seamless, you know, with that Apple ecosystem. And it's really swift between all your devices as well, whether you have an iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook, an iMac, whatever the case may be. It will seamlessly switch to whatever your Apple ID is signed in on. It's like magic. It works like magic. Steve Jobs was saying that's a really huge aspect for me as well. So yeah, I don't mind the case. I know people hate the, we call it the bra case, but for me, I think it's great. I bought a hard case as well to go with it for when I'm on the go to put my bag. So for me, it's no issue. The battery life isn't an issue. I love the fact person personally that they're always on. It kind of eliminates any kind of faffing around with turning them back on and repairing them again. It's just no first pick up and go every time. And I absolutely love that design feature in my opinion i think that was a great decision by apple for that but that's just me though let me know what you think so with that are airpods max worth it in 2024 in my opinion i give it a massive resounding yes they are worth it 100 i know there's rumors out there about the airpods max 2 coming out this year and people are waiting holding out for those which is completely understandable i don't know how much of an upgrade they're going to be it could be incremental it could be more i'm not sure but we don't know what tomorrow holds to be honest with you so i say if you have the budget and you really want them and you're in that apple ecosystem especially i highly recommend these 100 especially if you're an iPhone user. Not if you're an Android user, but if you're on the iOS platform, I can't recommend these enough. These are tremendous. And I know people may talk about these having the H1 chip, which is the older chip to the H2 chip that's in the AirPods Pro 2s, for example, which have a little a, few, a little bit more features, but naturally they need them with them being in-ears. With these being over-ear headphones, they don't really matter as much in my personal opinion and these really do everything that you want them to and more within the Apple ecosystem and they work really well with Apple Music which is what I use as well so for me it was a no-brainer I was very grateful to get these for Christmas so I got lucky I got AirPods Max I wanted these for ages I got very 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 lucky in that regard but if you have the budget definitely Give these a purchase if you really want them. I highly recommend it. And if you don't quite have the budget, don't brook yourself. There's plenty of other options out there. The Sony XM4s, the Sony XM5s, the Bose Comfort Ultras, Sennheiser's latest headphones. The Beat Studio Pros as well are really good. Awesome over-ear headphones too, which work with both Apple and Android ecosystems. So that's great within itself. But if you do have the budget and you really want these, I highly recommend the AirPods Max. They are great and you will not regret buying these headphones. So yeah, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think of AirPods Max. Have you just bought a pair? Are you thinking about buying a pair? Has this review helped you? What's your personal opinion about them? You know, I'd love to know. So let me know down there in the comments your views on, a, on AirPods Max and what you feel about them personally and even what may be coming with the AirPods Max 2 also, you know. Feel free to speculate down there as well. And I'll be back soon with more headphone reviews. Until then, I've been Marcus Rommel. Take care, bless up. Peace.